Hello, my name is Martin. I'm an instructor for the HVACR course, which stands for heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and refrigeration. Uh, Sam and I, you see another instructor here, would like to uh, introduce ourselves and uh, what we hear, offer here at, uh, at Carrington College. Hello, my name is Samuel Allen. I'm the HVAC slash R instructor here at Carrington. Um, I've been in the industry for about 25 years. Uh, progressively, you know, worked as a technician on my way up to a business owner and, uh, you know, just currently uh, manage a facility now. Uh, my proudest professional accomplishment that I've noticed over the past 30 years in the trade, uh, to me, would be customer satisfaction, which leads to a solid business. My proudest accomplishment would be uh, actually being an instructor and being able to instruct students on how to uh, work on, on heating, air conditioning, and ventilation equipment. For a typical day uh, for an HVAC tech, could be one of repairing and installing air conditioning, or they could work in a, uh, a facilities of some sort, commercial, residential, industrial. Uh, they can branch off to go to, to uh, electrical, plumbing. So it's, uh, they stay busy, just put it that way. <laughs> Here at Carrington College, uh, our courses run four days a week, from Monday through Thursday, typically for about five weeks. That's four hours a night, from 5.30 to 10.30 at night. The students start out in an introduction to like a tools and piping. Then they advance to a more basic refrigeration and electrical basics. And then start getting into the more advanced uh, air conditioning, uh, reading blueprints, uh, doing heat loads on a uh, all ice machines, gas furnaces, walk-in refrigerators, split systems, package units, quite a bit of stuff. So our students stay busy all day, um, have a lot to teach them. We get to teach uh, fresh students uh, the theories, air conditioning, plus electrical, plus many other things. We have that portion of it, then we also have the hands-on portion where we'll get into the equipment and repair it and disassemble it so they get their hands in there and uh, really get good experience. So what I like about it is it's interesting and it's also fun as well. Right now the guys are uh, actually took a, a part a uh, water cooler slash water heater uh, that you typically have in your home. Um, they were really excited. Uh, they're actually putting that on the board, compressor, the condenser, the evaporator, and all the components for that. And uh, so you can actually look at them on the board. And they're running all the pipes and uh, running all the electrical, just like it would be uh, on an AC system. But uh, I mean, it's just, you can see all the parts and the mechanisms working. Just recently, we had two graduates of uh, the HVAC program. Uh, one of the students had a, uh, a current job as a, in, a, in the maintenance field at an apartment complex. He, he got his EPA certification. Once uh, he got that certification, he got a substantial raise. Um, we also had the, uh, the second student applied for three different companies. He got interviews from all three uh, companies and got uh, job offers for, from all three companies. So that's excellent news. Um, and it just goes to show that uh, technicians are, are needed here in the Phoenix area. And all over the Southwest, California, sure. Texas, New Mexico, yes. uh, anywhere pretty much where you need air conditioning and heating. My, my favorite thing about Carrington College is probably the students. Carrington College has a great lab here too for hands-on experience. Those are the students, uh, the faculty staff, and the, uh, the lab. Uh, I enjoy uh, lecture as well, but 
Uh, most of the stuff that the, the students enjoy and you get to see them uh, really light up is whenever they get to pick something out here in the shop. Um, you know, the light bulb goes off and maybe they understand something that they didn't understand. You invest in yourself and the program, then you open up so many doors for opportunity and success. I would highly recommend it. And um, it's been a good career for me for the past 30 years. I uh, started out, like I said, in an office environment. I got uh, worked on some equipment. And uh, from there, I went to do uh, uh, a job with a uh, commercial contractor, air conditioning. Did that first few years. I did residential, um, uh, some industrial. And then I started my own company, which I've had for 25 years now. And I really enjoyed it. It's been a good career for me. We're naturally curious about how the equipment operates and how a lot of different things work. So um, they're excited when they get here. We give them a bag of tools to get started. They have their uh, manifold gauges, uh, electrical tester, variety of different things where they can take the tools that we, we provide to them and, uh, and use them on a daily basis. They're excited to uh, not only learn the curriculum, the bookwork, but also to get the hands-on training that we provide here extensively. We want the students to go out into the workforce and hit the ground running. So we make sure that they're completely that they completely understand the curriculum and how things uh, operate uh, safely, uh, efficiently, and uh, confidently. Uh, so that's what we strive here at Carrington, make those kind of things happen.